Brother, Sister Melon, how you doing? It's Brother Wisdom. Yeah, it's early day today. Uh, there's been a, quite a bit of uh, chemtrails. These beings have been spraying in the sky. This uh, barium and aluminum and, you know, all these uh, other uh, chemicals that uh, metals that they spray in the sky. And here in Detroit in the Michigan area, it has been rather cool. Uh, when I say cool, uh, at the in the night sky, um, we're looking at 55 degrees. They have been blanking in the sky because our planet is now giving out photon radiation particles, which means that our planet is hotter. All right, um, and we are we are going get uh, growing closer and closer to um, the Aquarius portal uh, to that ten thousand year Aquarius age uh, um, portal that we can that our planet and our entire galaxy is going to go through. Uh, as we grow closer, I have been noticing the. Uh, the up, the up, um, risings of earthquakes, and there have been many earthquakes, and the earthquakes are getting more and more intense. Um, these beings are trying to save themselves and their people. Uh, and like I said, you know, I talked to you guys um, yesterday on the the uh, the information of our. Uh, upgrade the melanin upgrade um, this is a necessary thing that has to happen all right this is the the act of the wheat being separated from the tear all right and these beings must understand that nature is all about separation nature is all about separation even though you may see different birds uh, flying through the sky all right but the same birds flock with each other all right you don't see seagulls and ducks flying in uh, in 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 um, in order and form you don't see geese and 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 eagles flying. The eagles stay with the eagles. The geese stay with the geese. The ducks stay with the ducks. The seagulls stay with the seagulls. All right? So nature is all about separation. And in order for our people to awaken to this, nature herself, along with all the other high-ranking um, councils and beings in the cosmos, have all made the decision to... Uh, make these things happen so that the separation can take place. This is a necessary thing, like I said, because what's going on is these uh, orc beings are being set up for destruction while our species are being set up to be preserved. Okay? We're not the same people. And we never have been the same people, no matter how much or how these beings um, try to deceive us with saying, oh yeah, you know, there's only one race, it's the human race. No, either you're nature or you're, you're natural with nature or you're unnatural with some other substance and these beings are unnatural with, us, with some other substance, it doesn't matter. So um, just remember, we are going to be um, enhanced beings. We're going to be enhanced beings, you know, and, and, it's, it's, and we're going to be giving off the same energy as our sun. Remember, we, are, we have souls, which souls means solar beings. We are solar beings, which means that our sun, as it gives off photon radiation particles so do we and we don't have to stand in the light of the sun 
or the energy of the, energy of the sun to do this because we um, are already solar beings. We are already children of the sun. So because we are children of the sun, therefore our bodies will naturally do what the sun does, all right? Because the cosmos is feeding us this energy and this power so that we can move and shift into a totally different direction of life, all right? Um, there are children who know this information. There are children who know this information who are following um, the, 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 uh, those who are the higher realms of the cosmos. They're following, they're paying attention. They're listening, they're, they're giving out information, all right? So it's important that we um, know what's going on around us and we, it's important that we see that uh, we're getting ready to shift into a much higher gear, all right? Now, yes, there will be a war. There will be a war when this shift happens. When this, when this transition happens, when 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 the photon particles, energy particles, begin to uh, to uh, be um, emitting from our bodies even heavier, these beings are going to be scared. So they're going to wage war against us. It's going to be an all-out war that they're going to wage against us, but they're not going to win because the power that's going to come from our bodies, and we're going to have access to every power and every weapon that the cosmos has and the cosmos has an unlimited amount of weapons and energies and powers and frequencies and i mean it's 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 going to be epic and we must prepare ourselves for this uh thing we're not going to die all right a lot of us don't so so get death out of your head you know we're, we're not going to die we're going to become immortal just like our planet we're going to become invincible just like our planet that's why i tell you guys to stick with your meditation and your tai chi and you know your yoga you know i tell you guys you know and this is how you build yourself up to this uh this to, to this high level energy that we are so much a part of so it's important that we uh, see this, uh, uh, this type of knowledge as a stepping stone for us to move into this different era of life. And we can, we can start this. We can start this shift now. You know, if, if you can rem remember the practices of uh, um, your solar plexus practices, you know, uh, you know, your Tai Chi, um, the, the different, the different, uh, 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 lessons that were given on how to move the energy and, and how to use your chants and all that. You can, you can start that process now and you can, you can begin feeling that, that energy, that heavy energy that's moving into our bodies. And because I feel it in my hands, I feel it in my feet, you know, I feel it in my, the crown, my crown, the crown of my head. Um, and it is a very tight, um, energetic uh, uh, power that's going to be coming out of our bodies. And all of our weapons is going to be coming out of our hands and our feet and our mouth and our eyes and our nose. And I mean, it's going to be coming from all over us. So, yes, there's going to be a fight because these beings are going to be scared. But it has to happen. Like I said, the wheat has to be separated from the tear so that the tear can be destroyed and the wheat can be preserved. They are the tear, we are the wheat, all right? So the tear always, the tear always grows up with the wheat because the tear needs the energy from the wheat in order for it to grow. But when the tear is without the wheat, the tear cannot grow properly, which means that the tear has to be destroyed so that the wheat can grow without any type of, uh, uh, of obstacles, okay? So this is just a quick, a quick uh, uh, message for you guys. Um, the wheat must, will be separated from the tear. 
and we will move into a totally different new power. All right. All power to the multi-chakra people of Melon. Peace to you all.